Welcome back to the broom cupboard. Tragically, the uh, old, almost famous, burnt down last year. Out of the ashes, the phoenix shall arise with a monster munch on his head. Um, they launched almost famous outside in my front garden. It was just good to have people outside playing cool music and having a beer. It's now moved into Great Northern Warehouse. It's beautiful in there. First floor, like VIP area, all panels now in place so you don't get blown away. A little tip for you, if you come after eight o'clock, you can do on-street parking, which is outside Reds on Peter Street. Or, just jump. Yes. <laughs> Wild Beyond Belief Burgers. First of all, Almost Famous is a destination, not a dinner. It's the atmosphere, the tunes are good. Great. Hey. There's a gigantic cow. All the waiters have got tattoos. It feels like being in a freak show carnival with cool people. And I didn't think it would work translating that from the Northern Quarter into Great Northern Quarter. But actually, it has worked. And it's brought an eclectic mix of individuals with tattoos, piercing, and very large noses. The burgers are the most monumental thing. The sauces are tangy, the birds themselves, they're usually done in a brioche and they'll throw wacky stuff on there like petroleum and crisps. They'll put monster munch and frazzles on top of certain burgers. I say Rupert, did you say the frazzles were taking over? The day of munch is over, the dawn of frazzle has arrived. Oh, potato chips. So the animal burger, which is currently my favourite, has three burgers, all with cheese on, in a brioche bun, with a nice gorgeous sauce, and monster munch, which is like some sort of Michelin star way of making burgers taste better and crunchy. Oh, recognition at last, Rupert. So it did lead me to think, what other everyday food items would benefit from Chris? Today is gonna be the day that I gotta put some food. Barbecue ribs and mini cheddars. Can't taste the mini cheddar. Custard cream and chips. That's actually lovely. I'm genius. That's a cup of soup and a chip stick. It tastes like the lumpy bits in a cup of soup that have just been extracted into long, large bits of lumpy bits from cup of soup. Very peasantry. Vanilla ice cream and a popcorn. Creamy and salty. Strangely uncomfortable. Onion bits. Onion bits. Ah, 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 Animal burger, which is a beautiful animal burger. Two beers, one to start, one to follow. Diet Cokes. The bill came to... I have no idea, I've lost the bill. But I would imagine it was about 40 quid, 30 to 40 pounds, so it's not cheap. I mean, it's not a burger joint, it's a way of life. Thank you, Mr. Dean. Okay. Cannibals.